Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am back today with a no-bake dessert that's going to be perfect for any holiday, special occasion or celebration. Today I'll be making my no-bake blueberry orange creme brulee. And I've previously posted a classic creme brulee recipe and this one just takes it to a whole new level. We're going to make a homemade blueberry orange jam to layer at the bottom of these dessert cups and then add some orange zest to that creamy creme brulee filling and of course add that signature caramelized sugar topping on the top. Once they're all done and ready to be enjoyed. You guys are going to love everything about this simple, elegant, and delicious dessert. I'm going to start this recipe with my homemade blueberry jam. So into a small saucepan, I'm going to add two cups of blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen. And to that, add half a cup of white granulated sugar and a little bit of orange zest from about half an orange. Then add in about half a cup of water Give this all a stir, and then we're going to heat this. Bring this berry mixture up to simmer over medium high heat and let it simmer for about seven to eight minutes, allowing those berries to burst open and dissolve that sugar completely. And to help my creme brulee set, I'll be adding some gelatin to the mixture. I have one tablespoon of gelatin. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of water and just let this bloom for about five to 10 minutes, however long it takes for you to get the custard ready. And while my jam is cooking away, I'm going to prepare my custard. So I have five large egg yolks in my mixing bowl here. To that, I'm going to add in half a cup of white granulated sugar, a little pinch of salt, and then grab my whisk and whisk this for about three to four minutes until those egg yolks are pale and thick. I'm going to set aside this egg yolk and sugar mixture and move on to my milk and cream. So into a large saucepan, I'm going to add in two cups of whole milk. Pour that in. One cup of heavy cream. And to help thicken the custard mixture, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to heat this mixture over medium high heat for about three to four minutes. I want that milk to be steaming hot, but not boiling. I'm then going to temper my hot milk into the egg yolk mixture, just add a little bit at a time and then get a, give it a good vigorous whisk after each addition. I have those two mixtures combined and now I'm going to pour the mixture back into the saucepan. And I'm going to add my bloom gelatin into the mix. And I'm going to cook my custard over medium heat for about seven to eight minutes, stirring it constantly with a spatula. You wanna let that custard thicken up nicely and allow that gelatin to dissolve. And now let's get some flavor into the custard. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I'm going to add some zest from the remaining half orange. And whisk that in. And now to assemble this dessert, I'm going to add a few spoonfuls of that blueberry orange jam into the bottom of my little custard cups. And then gently pour that custard mixture over the top. And once you have these cups filled, this creme brulee is ready to go into the refrigerator. Allow it to set there for a few hours, or you could just leave it in there overnight and garnish the top when you're ready to serve. And once that custard is nicely set in the refrigerator, go ahead and take it out. And we're gonna sprinkle a light layer of sugar over the top. And time to dig in and enjoy this blueberry orange creme brulee. The last thing I like to do, just add a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice over the top, adds a little fresh twist to the recipe. And I like to scoop all the way to the bottom, get some of that crystallized sugar 
my favorite part. Mmm. Wow, this is so incredibly delicious. Now I've had a lot of creme brulee in my life and this is by far one of my all time favorites. You guys are going to love the flavor combination. You have that fruity berry jam from the bottom with the blueberries in there. And you have this like light orange zest flavor throughout and that cream is so smooth and delicious. Add that little crystallized sugar on top, a little bit of that lemon juice and this is just incredible. You guys are going to be blown away by the flavor combination. If you're looking for a new twist on the classic creme brulee recipe, you've got to give this one a try. Just head down into my video description box. I've left a link there that'll take you over to my blog where you can find the full recipe, print it off for yourself, and of course share it with all your family and friends. Hope you guys enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.